This is it. The de Havilland DH-89 Dragon Rapide. This great machine was one of the world's first completely streamlined airliners. She operated as a short-haul specialist, speeding passengers all over Britain and Europe. So before I embark on a flight of my own, let's see what made her tick. What an absolute beauty. You can almost smell the 1930s coming off her. Aesthetically pleasing from any angle. Powered by two Gypsy Queen engines, inline six-cylinder air-cooled, each knocking out 200 horsepower. Pretty powerful by car standards, but not much as today's airliners go. Even the smallest modern jet knocks out about five times that. To help the engines get the aircraft off the ground and carry its payload of eight passengers, the Rapide has two 14-metre wings rather than just the one we're used to nowadays, and that gives it loads of lift. It might not look very advanced, but it was for the time, incorporating the latest watchword in 1930s technology, streamlining. The whole of the exterior has a flowing, slippery shape right down to the trousered undercarriage, reducing air resistance and maximizing its speed and range. With this slippery streamlining, the Dragon Rapide was good for 578 miles at 132 miles an hour. More than enough for its first operators, Hillman Airways, and their short-haul routes from southern England to Scotland, Ireland and France. Hillman were one of the world's first budget airlines, with a revolutionary idea of making air travel just like bus travel. But with a cost of a ticket, a one-way ticket to Paris, at just over £4, £350 in today's money, it was still a bit expensive for the average man. Let's have a look and see what you got for your money. There's only eight seats and not a lot of luxury. But that's not the point. What made this machine great was the fact it could get you from the centre of London to the centre of Paris in just three hours and 40 minutes. The engine's just chugging along nicely. They sound very smooth, very strong at the moment. Um, let's hope that remains the case. For years, I've had a fear of flying, so... Why are you going up in a 1930s airliner, then? One would ask. Hey, you only live once. We are now, I would say, preparing for a takeoff roll. You can hear the sound of the engines now as they rev right up, and this is a takeoff roll. Up we go, and this you can feel the tail wheel lift now as we come along to the horizontal. It is a little bit blustery there as we feel, but the big biplane now is in the sky. A very short little takeoff roll there, and we are in the skies. Absolutely magnificent. You can hear the smooth two Gypsy Queen engines dragging us up, and we seem to be airborne with very little effort. There weren't any stewardesses on this aircraft because there simply wasn't any room. So I'll show you the emergency exit myself. And here it is. It's simply a hole in the roof. What you did was you pulled this here, pull emergency use only. There's a little blade in there, and it cut a hole in the roof, and out you went. What you did when you got there, I don't know, but uh, there it is. <laughs> 